Welcome back to Patrick's Pair Box. It's me, it's you boy, I'm back. It's 2 a.m. I should definitely be doing something else right now. Should be doing some schoolwork or I should be sleeping so I can wake up tomorrow and do schoolwork. But instead I'm gonna play Parabox because honestly it's a treat to myself. I have, uh, I mean I guess I really don't have a good reason to other than I want to. But you know, who needs, no more reason needed I feel. I think the idea is, well, no, so the problem in this level, I looked at this one when we finished and I was like, oh yeah, this is gonna be easy. I'm realizing now, maybe not so easy. Because you can only move, or I guess more accurately, you can only possess in the cardinal directions, right? And we can't do anything wacky here. Given the music a listen? I think this is too quiet. I turned it down too much in the last episode. Go back to another episode of... Uh, Messing with my audio. Like this. I think this is a good level. Okay, back to work. My bad. Oh, I can only move down. Oh, I can move it like this. Hold. We can go up. We can go down. This is this is progress. Can I hold? Move over here, I can move over here. You can't put Patrick in the corner though. I'm going to refer to the starter as Patrick, even though technically that's not correct. Because it's just, it's very hard to refer to things in this. Right, I was thinking maybe I could do this. Yeah. There you go, I got there. Ooh, there's like, it's kind of creepy. <laughs> <laughs> it's honestly kind of creepy to look at these uh, soulless Patricks and go. It's kind of kind of a little spooky. I think that the difference here is we have to. Yeah, the problem is how do you get this last one out? Actually, I have other problems with this. Getting this last one out is actually not that hard. Oh, you just push it. And then you, yeah, 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 it's no problem. You can, you can just walk through. What's the problem here? I think that the problem here, the problem here is you can't just walk in, right? So the goal is to get Patrick in this corner, but you can't use the, you can't use the side piece to block because then it'll just eat the, uh, the pathway. Gotcha. I got it. Think. Oh, please hold. Let me reset. So I have to be one of these three. Just have to get the blue one out. That, so you have to possess the blue one for sure. So to be able to finish this, I'm assuming. Assuming we just go in, right? And eat it. Eating it is definitely wrong because we will never get it out. Oh, you can't possess it because it doesn't have eyes. So you do have to eat it then. Okay. And then you can get it out by possessing the other one. I'm taking it over here. There we go. And you get it out like this. What a cool level. I'm probably going to say that a lot in the remainder of this playthrough, but like, God, what a cool setup. Again, what I want to point out here. Remember how uh, this game is good at very good at making me reimagine the rules, right? Because typically, if you showed me this piece in the top right corner, I would say this is locked. You cannot get this out. That is a trap piece. You have to reset. Something is wrong. You can't interface with it. A simple rule change, and all of a sudden, uh, it's I'm, I'm stuck. But I'm stuck because I'm a fool. All of a sudden, a simple rule change here, and we get this out of the corner, no problem. Hey, look at how cool that is. That's so cool. That they can, the, the, the developers are able to just do that. I think this game was a solo project, actually, so the developer is able to just do that. Like, that's so cool to me. Did 
taking a look at this one with me? How do I get a piece in here? Ah, I know the answer. I believe. You gotta do it up against this wall. Because you can... Okay, so you gotta do it up against the top first, maybe? Hold. Please hold. I have to think about it, right? So, we can go in from the right. We can push up here. I cannot... I, I can possess this piece, right? I can possess this piece by bringing it up against a wall. So I can possess in any of the cardinal directions, should I so desire. The question becomes, how do I possess the square when it's here? And the answer is, it's not possible, I believe. Oh no, it's possible. Or... Hold, hold on. How could I... How could I get it here? Well, that's the whole question, isn't it? How do I get myself into this position? Hang on, I think I saw it. I need to replicate what I'm doing here. Here. Oh, you can't do that. That is not a doable. Okay, okay, okay. You could push it out. That would leave you... Oh, you could... No, again, again, same same thought. Could push it out here. Well, if I could push it out here, we would not be in this position, would we? No, we would not. Okay, let me reconsider. Let's take a, take a reset. Whenever I get stuck like this, I like to just reset and take another look. Let me go in. Thinking about, yeah, thinking about this as a potential idea, right? Now, how do I interface with the piece now that it's broken there? How do I, from this position, what can I do? I can push it up. I cannot push it left or right. Hmm. I can move it down. I can move it up. Wait, could I always put it here? Yeah, I could always put it here, right? Am I losing my mind? I am losing my mind. It's like you could just you could just push it there. I don't know why. I, I was thinking that getting to this position was a challenge. Getting to this position isn't the challenge. Getting to this position with the unpossessed piece here in the corridor, indeed, so that we can interface with it. Oh, I see. I see it. 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 Do you see it now? I, ju I just saw it. I love the moment of, oh, I see it. You push it up against the wall, then you can possess it. Sick. Oh, how cool. Awesome, even. Okay, we got three squares. I mean, uh, often these puzzles, they teach you something just by letting you look at them. Yeah, I mean, that one's just, I have three squares, there are three spaces between the center of that and the wall. Uh, probably I push these in here. This one, uh, there's two spaces on each, so I'm going to operate on a similar assumption, but a little differently. Because of the the way we can access, right? We can only come in from the bottom or the top. Hmm. So goal here is to possess green, right? Ultimate goal here is to possess green. Let's start by laying out what I need to know. Coming in, and I need to come in from the bottom or the left. I believe I said bottom or top. I need to come in from bottom or left. If I do this, this, I can push this one. It doesn't work though, because this is not like this is not like the ones where you can cycle. Oh, I can just go in there. Yeah. Oh, and then you have to fill up the purple one as well. That's the other piece, so that you don't just uh, possess poorly. And then we go in from the bottom. There you go. Oh, cool. Now let's head over to this challenge level. Ah, one of them you can possess. Okay. Is this... Is this not easy? Whenever I ask that question, you just solve it the way that you think you solve it, right? 
Ah, it's not easy. I see. Because it just gets pushed in, or it gets pushed out, because that's how this mechanic works. I gotcha. So, you should be able to do this then, right? Place a block to block where the push out happens, and then it should let you possess. Indeed. New problem, of course, is how do I get to the exit? That problem is not that big of a deal. Indeed. Cool level. Uh, now there are four to possess. We have to eat this. Okay. I suppose I just start pushing stuff in here, right? And what, I have to... I, I can possess all of these, so I need to figure out for what. Ah! That's interesting. You possess inward. Huh. Cool. Makes a really cool sound, too. <laughs> uh, okay. In this case... I'm going to push in, uh, I'm gonna push in, sorry, in this case I'm going to do this the exact same way, no. In this case I am going to push in the unpossessable block first. And, or last, sorry. In my mind I want it to say first, but it's last. That way I can possess here instead. Now... Hmm. Now I don't know. I can't switch back. So no, this is wrong. Okay. So what am I learning here? Let's look at this one then. Let's look at the way that I did it before then. Where we push in the regular block first. And I do mean to say first that time. I don't want to do these all at once because it'll feel cool. Boom, boom, boom. Like this, right? And then I can push them out. I don't know if that really does anything, though. But what if I'm looking at this wrong? What if my goal is something else? I mean, okay, well, let's talk about it. What is my goal? Great question. Great, great question. So my goal is to be the grid piece with the bottom square open. Yeah. Okay. Alright. So... What can I do? How do I... How do I do that? That's your question here. And the answer... So, the question becomes... Oh. Oh? Oh. Can't I just come in from the side? Is it, is it really obvious and I'm just a fool? This feels like it should not be the answer, because why can I possess these if that's the answer? I guess I can possess them so that I learn that you have to consider the possession, perhaps? Maybe that's what it is. Like, maybe maybe it's that what you're supposed to... You, ha you have to learn that that possession mechanic works like that, I bet. Yeah, that's all it is. Okay. I thought I was going to have to do something fancy with the possession there, but no, it's just learn that you have to possess. Or learn that you can possess into a sub-level, I guess, which I could see becoming very confusing. Huh. Okay. I can move in here. I don't really see what I'm getting out of that. Let me 
little bit here again don't see what i'm getting out of that so ultimate goal here let me let me do let's do let's begin with the information gathering i need to become red patrick here what am i supposed to do i'm supposed to do it in a corner perhaps like what is the what's the corner piece teaching me here I need to use it to block something, but what? Oh, it's like that. That's what it's teaching me here. Teaching me that you can just uh, possess like that. Of course, that makes a lot of sense. Mm, we got a little copy paste going on. What am I doing? I have to get, oh, I have to, I mean, this isn't copy paste, I see. I mean, we, we have recursion, I suppose I should say. So, huh. I, I need to get, maybe, we have four blue blocks, right? So, we have to get into the recursion, and then it's gonna do the wonky, wibbly time thing. Sorry, that's a Doctor Who, but I don't actually watch that show. Uh, so if I push this out of the right, ah yes, it does break, of course. So, do I need this to be in the chain? cycle. I cycle. That doesn't help me. That doesn't help me. What if I put... Okay, the cycle, but like this. What happens? Just eats that one. Okay. Oh, I'm supposed to... What? I'm supposed to do this? These three here. This this is something that I could not put into words, but feels intuitive to try after looking at uh, how this worked. This. Does this work? No. Because there's nothing stopping me. Of course. I think I would need one more here. Oh, there's a... Oh. Right. There's a space on Patrick, right? So if I do... If I recreate the cycle... Hold. This one looks like it's going to be a bit of a doozy as well, though. You ever think about what the hell that means? Where did the term doozy come from? What do I mean when I say that? Oh god, don't do that. Uh, let me take a look here. I do not wish to break my recursion. So we go here, here, here. Right, so Patrick can't go right. So, but they just get eaten. Of course they just get eaten. That's exactly how that would work. Let's reset. So, what do we have here? We have, I can come at it from the left, where I only have two spaces to work with, considering, or I guess like this, right? I only have one space to work with. Indeed. And this is just a cycle. Of course. Cycles don't help me. I really don't know on this one. I really, really don't know. You can come in here. You can go up like this. It's, it's this, but then I need to be able to push in from the side that I am loading up, which is impossible, right? Like, what I am trying to do here is not doable. I can't push this stack from the left. Or from the right, I guess. I would be pushing from the right. That just does not work. So something else must be what I am meant to do here with these. surround it. 
It feels like it has to be some variation on loading up on the wall, right? Yeah. Like, when you get to this point, there's nothing you can do, right? Like, when I... Th there's no way... If there's a space here... Oh, wait. Am I stupid? I am stupid. Okay, got it. Uh, I, I said it, if there's a space here, and then it, it, then it clicked. As soon as I said that, it made sense. Three go here, and you... You have to come in from the bottom. The three go here. Yeah, like as soon as I said that, there's a space here, it clicked in my mind. It just make there not be a space there. Yeah, you can do that. And so you have to come in from the bottom because if you set it up like this, please hold, I will illustrate. If you set it up like this, he's just gonna eat. So, I mean, we can just do it again. I see. This uses all the elements of the puzzle. I'm 100% sure this is the answer. I made that significantly harder than it needed to be, but got there. I'm not giving myself enough credit, I guess. I'm not stupid. That was a little bit difficult. Hmm, interesting problem here. I cannot eat all of these puzzle pieces, but I'm very hungry. Ah, that's a little bit of a mechanic teacher, isn't it? You can do that. You can just eat the pieces that are within yourself. It is like an absurdly difficult thing to put into words. I can eat a square. You, you just gotta look at that one. If you didn't see what I did there, we learned a new interaction. You just have to look. I can't put that into words, I'm sorry. I want to flip this all, right? What can I do as this? I can flip it. Flipping it does nothing. Oh, I see. The problem is I can't flip these pieces. I was like, oh, this is easy, isn't it? You just flip these. You can't flip them. That's the baseline problem. You have to recognize this and flip them like so. And then I have to get them out, which I think is going to be, yep, a problem, because I tried to cut corners. Gotta flip them one at a time. Indeed. All right. Because if you don't flip them one at a time, you get trapped. Oh, also I have to load this up. I can't load it up one piece at a time. You have to load it up at the end. Because I need an empty piece at the... I need an empty piece here, in the corner, or else you can't walk. So we go grab this bad boy, and then we go here, here, here. Nice and easy. This is a challenge level. I knew, I knew they were going to do this to me, where they made flip mechanics just a normal mechanic, and I want you to know, I dreaded it. I was very afraid of this. So what do we need? We need a piece here, angled like this, a piece here. So I need... Hold. I need this. This. And then I need to be able to possess something else. I mean, that is, this is a start. I assume what we're meant to do here is, because these are both, these are the same piece, right? The bottom two pieces here, these are the same piece. So, what I want to do is I want to possess here. Yeah, and then 
I believe what you want to do is you want to place the, the piece that's going to go in the top corner like this. This would be really smart if it was correct. You have to flip first, because we don't want them. We, we need one of them to be flipped. Uh, I'm not sure if I... Uh, truly, I'm just not sure on this one. I think that this is fine. Uh, basically, I don't know if I have to do it this way. Ah, I'm actually just incorrect. I need to flip myself. It doesn't matter which way I'm facing. That's not right. This is right. And we need to become... Can I become this piece? I don't think I can, right? Because you can't come in from here, you can't come in from here. Okay, you can't become this piece. That's an issue. doesn't matter. Yeah, it just doesn't matter. Okay, because it doesn't matter which way the piece that we are is facing, because it's not a piece of the path. Of course, that makes sense. Is this a cycle thing? This is a cycle thing. Uh, I love the cycle things. Uh, so I want... It does not look like a particularly hard cycle to put together. That's a little difficult, because you can't line this up in a way that makes it feel right, can you? Ah, but what I can do is I can add another piece to the cycle to offset it. I think I want that here. Indeed. Hmm. Is that just the whole puzzle? Push that up into the wall? Yeah. Cool. Oh, it's not the whole puzzle! I've been had! They got my ass. I thought I had it. Uh. Right. This is not a flip. It feels, of course, like I have to put, put it here, right? Put it against this piece. But... That has its own set of problems, doesn't it? Okay. This one's a little trickier than I thought. I have five over here. I can just get the green pieces out and make this elsewhere? I sure can. I can get one of the green pieces out. Actually, more accurately. I don't know... Right, and I've been here. Now... If you move it up one, it doesn't work, of course. How do I position this in a way where I can actually access it, right? That's the question. How do I position this in a way where I can enter it? And I can go through to here. I could cycle this forever, it makes no difference. I could. Hmm. I think I, I could do it like this, maybe? But this has its own problem, right? So if I if I try to start it, let me let me illustrate this real quick for you, because this this idea that I'm about to pose, it has its own issue. And this is ordered wrong. Come on over, please. Mm, two up. And that should be the line I want. Yeah. So what I was thinking basically was setting it up like this, right? But this has its own issue. So I can set it up more accurately 
what I was thinking is I could set it up like this. But this has its own issue of you can't enter here. Oh, but if I do it up one, if I do it up one, hold, 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 I see. If you go up one more, the wall on the bottom doesn't stop me. That's what I didn't get. The bottom piece wall does not get in the way. Or how do I how do I put it? Uh, it? There's a block in the way, so I can just do this. Yeah. The it doesn't have to be right up against the solid block in the middle. That's what I didn't get there. Okay, this looks confusing. Uh huh. So you have like a little little pocket here that I can store pieces in. And also go in here. Ah, so whenever I'm ready, I can possess this guy. Gotcha. And this cycles. Okay. So. Is this flipped as well? Okay. So. I need to flip this piece. I believe. I need to just change its position in the order. Maybe it lines up. There you go. That worked in my mind. I don't feel like that's supposed to work, but hey, it works. It works. Oh, because I'm, I'm hitting it here. I'm taking it in. This is flipping it. That is how that works mechanically, I see. So you do need these to be aligned. I need them to be together, among other things. I'm starting to see. I think that this level might just have two ways you could solve it as well. Push that one down. Mm -hmm. uh, bring them together. I don't think that they, yeah, they don't line up. That's okay though. I'll figure it out later. I just want them to be together now, and then I can realign it as I see fit. And here they are, all aligned. Almost perfect, except for not even close to perfect. Ooh, this is gonna be a long episode. Holy moly! I've been getting, I've been getting pretty stuck. To be fair, the levels are tricky. I wish to group these together. I can always flip them if I want, like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the, the two pieces that are directly to the left of me need to be rotated in their order. So, push it down one. But they are flipped properly, they just need their order rotated. And there's that. Now I just need to get the third and final piece into there with them. Like this, right? And that should be it? That does appear to be it. Very cool level. I also think that you could do this a different way. I think that these two pieces are interchangeable. The end pieces. I think that you could interchange them if you flip everything back around. Uh, the overworld is a 2x2 two two square? I see. Well, that doesn't leave a whole lot of room for doing anything, pretty much, does it? How do I... This inner world here is a 3x3, three three, which is a lot of space. How do I put these pieces into it, though. Oh, I see. Uh, you possess, and then you out in, and then you possess this and it'll eat. Yep. Gotcha. Out in, possess the wall, and it eats. Am I going to regret this because I did did two at once? I hope not. Oh, fine. 
Very cool level. Let's look at the ones that- let's look at the sub-pack. This is cons the game called this- or the achievement thing called this a sub-pack. Or like a level pack, basically. So let's take a look at this level pack. Oh god. <laughs> Alright. So this is make a singular big stack. Make one very large stack. I gotcha. There's an interesting question here of how do I get these ones out that I end up putting in the wrong wall. Oh, it's like that. Because I can enter it too as Patrick. And I'm assuming... This is an interesting level because it, it seems intuitive that Patrick would enter it. And yet, that did not be... that was not the first thing I thought about. This is also a uh, one one by one level sort of thing here. So there has to be one in the middle. Like this. And then you just have to do the rest of them so Patrick can go in there. Ah, so Patrick, Patrick cannot go in there. I mean, he can go in there, but you don't want him to. Let's go up. The problem is you can't really do down. The, the directions are easy except for one. Oh, this should be easy then, right? Because I just do one of the directions here where it's still recoverable. Yeah, do right. And then... Should be able to just push in like that and get top and bottom. And push in from the left. Is that not right? Maybe from the right. No. Am I supposed to... Maybe I'm meant to do it like this? There you go. Maybe I lost track of which one was which. I'm not sure. In my mind, that made sense. Oh, this time Patrick is the... Patrick is the thing. Okay. My level was surprisingly fast, I gotta say. That was a very cool concept and then the level was just over. My eyes don't line up. I'm not used to them not letting me possess everything. Let me turn Patrick into a blue square. The goal here is to get through there. And that's a one-way trip, and then we need to go up there to the top right, or top left, and put a box there. Okay. Feels like first and foremost, you gotta do this. Oh, what the fuck? That's so weird. I, like, I guess that's meant to be somewhat intuitive that it works like that, because... Uh, that's how it works. Like, that is just how it works, I guess. It's just weird, you know? Like, it's just weird. Oh, and then I think I need to leave... I can't eat it from that side. Oh, because this is possessable and the brick that I picked up there is not... I need to do this, right? That doesn't work. Hmm. Okay. I can leave behind the green body. I could also repossess this. Oh, and then I can... I can't go up. How sad. Okay. So how do I get to the exit? Is this something really obvious that I'm missing? I think that it's not. I think that it is something a little trickier. We'll do a reset here and take another look. Take over this. Eat the... eat the green boy. I don't think I'm meant to just ditch it, right? So 
But I can't put anything in it because it's all possessable. I guess if I put something in it, it's already lost, isn't it? We want to go up, grab this. Okay, so the actual goal is to put something in... So I, I can do this then. I can become this one, and we can put that brick in. And then we become this guy, eat the blue, there you go. Got it. What an extremely cool level set. Like, what a crazy cool level set. This is a wall. Real quick, we can do one. You can become the wall. Oh, but that doesn't win. Huh. In the wall, the wall cannot move within itself. I always love effects like this, where you see you see how the wall like changes based on where you are. I always like animations like that. They look pretty cool. Do this, yeah, there you go. Alright, got it. This level, or this episode is already running long, so I won't do any more. I was going to record more of this tonight, but I am very tired after this episode, so I'm going to go to bed. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave me a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.